I got a question, y'all. Do you like uh, shepherd's pie? I happen to love it. When I have cooked a pot roast and I have leftover pot roast, I am gonna make a shepherd's pie out of that. It is out of this world. Have you tasted my, I have. oh my goodness, it's so good. But I'm gonna share with y'all uh, today a recipe that you can find in Cooking with Paula Dean magazine. And these are mini shepherd pies, and I really, really, really like that idea too, especially if you're feeding children, you know, young young kids. So we can take these to the parade. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna have to jump ahead in the recipe though. Uh, I've got some frozen potatoes that uh, they come already cubed in everything. You just cook them, and I've got uh, half a cube of boards and cheese. So I'm afraid that if I don't mix this in while it's hot, it might not be so easy to mix. So I'm jumping ahead on this recipe. Okay, hey y'all. <laughs> I know I started off this recipe kind of goofy, but I know that I needed to get that boards and cheese in those potatoes while they were still warm so they could mix up. Uh, and I'm sure y'all are familiar with boys and cheese. It comes in a round and it is so good. I love it. Just smeared on a cracker. One after Good another. old cracker. Oh, I could eat it all afternoon long. They are wonderful. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start our meat. Like I said earlier, uh, I love using leftover pot roast. So if you ever have any leftover, mm -mm, try it because it, it's delicious. So I'm uh, crumbling up my ground beef. And I'm going to put in my garlic and my onions. And I'm just going to cook that until they're done. And in goes my garlic. So we're just gonna stir that around and while while that's browning, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my dough into muffin tin. And I, I don't, did, did I tell them this is individual shepherd's pies? Mm -hmm. It's not one big one. So I love that idea. Yeah, cause I was talking about kids and all. So uh, we're just using canned biscuits and these are, these are really big. I'm wondering maybe if I need to pull a couple of layers off. They you know? look thick in the picture, so I would they say, mm -hmm, I'd say. Okay. It's been a long, 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 long time since I did individual. Um, I usually do the straight out big shepherd's pie. So we're gonna run it up the sides. So you'll have you'll have your bread bowl. Well, y'all, <laughs> after I kept having to mash that first one down, I said this this got to be a better way. And uh, so I took out my little rolling pin, and sure enough, there's a better way. This will go a lot quicker because look, I've even taken that out and rolled it out but it's still not want to do right. So I really like the way those look. The reason I'm making these is because this is one of the things that we make to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Because this was normally an Irish dish and I believe they made it with lamb. I'm not sure, but uh, where in today's age we use beef. All right, now I'm gonna come back over here to our meat. We drained a little bit of the fat off. I'm gonna add some uh, apple cider vinegar and I'm using frozen peas and carrots. You know, if you wanna feel better about yourself, I guess you could use fresh, do some fresh ones, but these are really just as good. All right, now I'm gonna add some ketchup and remember at the end of this video, 
you'll have the complete recipe and the proper measurements. So not to worry if you didn't get it. This is gonna be really, really good. All right, let's see what else do I need. I haven't salt and peppered it yet, so. Do a little bit of that. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to check this and make sure it's got enough seasoning, and it does. It's real good. All right, now I'm going to fill this with our meat and our carrots. All right, now I wanna uh, warn y'all that uh, the potatoes, these are not real moist there. So if you wanted to, you could add some milk to them, but. Will the cheese melt down? I choose not to. Well, that what's because remember. The boys and cheese mm -hmm. in it. Uh, it. It's like a cream cheese. In fact, I make boys and cheese myself, and that's the ingredient, that's the main ingredient that you use. The no cream cheese. So yeah. All right, now let's see. I don't put my potato chips on till I think after it's done, I can't Paula, I will tell you one thing we will be taking to the parade this year. Why? And tell it's me. called an Irish cream cake. That oh you, my gosh. That you already made this week. Listen, I just finally, I guess Eddie, there was one piece left on the cake dome and it got put in a cup over here when I walked in here to start uh, my cooking. I ate it. <laughs> Please make sure you watch that video. You that cake have. is so easy and so good. I mean, it's one of the best cakes. You know, I told you, I said, I don't think this is something I crave. Well, I'm already craving it. And I just ate it. <laughs> I just ate it all. And Michael, who God love him, he's trying to diet. Oh, uh, said, wow, wow. Now y'all know there's not a drop of butter in this recipe. So, I mean, when you have mashed potatoes, you have to have butter, don't you? So I'm just going to dot them with just a little bit of butter. So, you know, you're going to be leaving the house early, so you could make them this far on Wednesday night, and then Thursday morning, throw these in the oven, and then you can put them in a little styrofoam cooler, and a cooler will act just like an oven. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, if you, as long as you don't open it, wrap it up good in tin foil, put it in there, and when you go to eat it at lunchtime, it'll still be warm. So, great picnic idea. Love it. In the oven, 375, 20 minutes. Okay, y'all, I'm just gonna garnish these with a little bit of chives and some potato chips. I think potatoes are always good on potatoes. <laughs> Don't you, Eddie? I do like and potato chips. I do too. And I love, I love the uh, fact that rolling out that biscuit dough, what it did to it, I like that a lot because it came out and over. So, like two minutes on this. And that's it. How pretty is that? How beautiful is that shepherd's pie? This looks so good, I really hate to dig into it. But, you know, after it cools, I don't see why you couldn't eat it just like this, just like you would, you know, a muffin or a cupcake.
people gonna love it. You are gonna love it. You know what's made it? That little bit of butter that I put on it. See how it's running down and on that bit? Oh, it was just really good. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Shepherd's pie. For one or for all. It's good. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.